Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today we are back with Roblox farming game. And I finally upgraded my land. So now I have three plots instead of one. I got three cows, a dog, milk station, and let's go check out the house. Fridge to store all of your soups, your milk, your butter, berries, and chocolate, and cake. Here's some recipes. I'm not here yet. It took me forever to get to land number three. This, sadly, was just decoration. You cannot use to store your corn in it or your hay there needs to be a stores where you can store everything like in um, harvest moon and the uh, st the other knockoff game which I cannot think of right now the fridge can also store your honey so I will go get honey right now Your level, once you unlock, um, cotton, the, not cotton, cotton's the, once you hit level 40, that's it. You don't need to go higher unless they come out with some other type of seed. Because I am at level 91 and there was nothing else to collect, seed-wise. However, like I said, there's still the... I have lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> my brain just went... <laughs> it farted. <laughs> okay, so... Here's all your stuff that you collect. You can actually... Uh, yeah, I'm working for chicken coop right now. Chickens only cost you 1,000, but to get the thing you have to get 15,000, and before that you have to get 10,000 for the land. So you have to get 25,000. And after that you get, oh, uh, just your, another land upgrade. Which I don't know what that will do because that's 100,000. On the last video I said I needed 7,500 for a water upgrade. Turns out you actually need 75,000. So yeah. To get money in this game, you have to do your quest, and I keep doing the miner. He just gave me a 1,000. Uh, Pitchfork, Je this guy, Pitchfork Jeb, those, it's really not worth it. It's like your beginner quest, and I absolutely did not do his quest in the beginning. All I did was, uh, well, I'll show you what I dead. Okay, so this is your seed stall. This is all the seeds you can buy. Hay, poppy. You get from hay, you get, you do your poppy, you figure out price per, well, price per crop, the highest you can get, and you go, f you basically plant that one type that is the most you start off with hay, you unlock poppy, then potatoes, strawberries, carrot, blueberry, and then when you hit corn, that's all you plant. Nothing but corn. Corn is your cast crop in this game. Unless you were looking for the notices, which do help, but I find that the best one is the corn because it's a uh, five. Five dollars per per crop, or well, I can go get one and show you. So okay, I have 108 corn. I need six butter. Okay, I need more butter. Give me. I'm just gonna make 50, 50. Give me 50 milk. Turn that into butter. Give me. 
Wait, is my milk? Nope. I need to feed my cows. So I need 7,500 for that upgrade. $7.50 for your butter. This is what I, you, this is what you plant. When you hit corn, that's all you do. Corn, corn, and more corn. Until you can level up and get your, your oven. Then you can do, actually, your oven and your butter churn for the, the butter. And, and that's basically all you do in this game. This, so this is like a step two progress video. Not bad. I'll show you everything once again just for newbies. Equip. That doesn't say how much. I'm still... Oh. Do I want the great watering can versus 5,000 for the irrigator? I'm kind of curious what this does because I keep buying this. This one. So I need... Uh, I will have to go back to my land and I can like count. This is what I have left. So this is all your upgrade. Hire a farmhand. Kinda not worth it in my opinion. I, Because I just don't have the income to support the farmhand. They need a wager of 500 750 or 1000 per day and that multiplies if you get more than one farmhand so the price will go up and for me I cannot support so it's not worth it in my opinion while well, I am at uh, this is for your chocolate cake I'm on his quest to unlock it however I need a chicken and before that I need a coop. Here's your book, your cookbook, standard cookbook, nothing else to see. Yeah, far, uh, here's some more farmhands. I can 750, 750, and what are you? A thousand. Okay, here's your. I need that still. That's like my last upgrade in here. This, sadly, is just for decoration, doesn't do anything, turns your butter. You need this butter churn and your oven for the minor quests. Once you hit that, you'll get over a thousand. I throw away the stupid blueberry and strawberry quests when it's uh, stupid. Uh, he'll, the, I think he gives you, like, I don't know, one time, I think he said, he'll give me, like, 200 I'm like, not that worth it. So, yeah. Pretty much all you do in this game. And well is my farm. Okay, I wish they had like a marker to show where your farm is. That would be helpful, but... Just walk around the map until you find your spot. What I don't understand is why you pale blue and pink, no, that's purple, okay, light purple, and a brighter pink or purple, why do you have colored, wait, even your beehives are purple? What the, why are you a different color than everyone else? Is it because you're VIP or, I don't, I don't know. It, it, I, I don't know because everyone else one time I saw a green farmhouse I think no yes yes right green and so the colored variation I don't understand that because everyone else has this this your standard red and blue so I don't know why you have a different color than everyone else including the beehive so I don't know that I'm kind of curious why that's a thing 
Okay, last stars. Last shop on the list is your Roblox store. Um, here's your Roblox stuff. So you get permanent egg multiplier, multiplier, absurd backpack. Uh, okay, didn't know that. Runs faster when while running your deliveries and can carry 500 pounds of your stuff. So he gets an upgrade. I think the standard is, well, varies, so I don't know. Okay, let's go over here. Maybe this is my house. <laughs> I am so lost. No, that's not my house. Is it this one? Like I said, there's a marker. Okay, this is my house. Okay. Time to go see if the miner has a new quest for me. They do need to recharge. If only you could spam it. <laughs> Okay, so what do you have? A thousand? Yes. Give me that. Thank you. Instant. So now I need... I'm actually going to... Uh, I don't know. Do I want the 7,500 upgrade or do I want the 6,000 upgrade? And oh my god, I'm so
I just found out 20 minutes into the video that my audio was not being recorded at all. Well, uh, I'm kind of thankful and I'm kind of not because that just sucks. Okay, so let me start over. Well, not over, over because, yeah. Okay, upgraded the land, so you start with 1k upgrade for your second plot, your third plot, 10k, 1, 1k unlocks your farmhouse, and your cows, and your second beehive. Whoa, where are you going? Don't know what it just did the yeah. How to make money? Simple. When you unlock corn at level 40, no, sorry, not 40. That is your rainbow pepper, I think. When you unlock corn, plant nothing but corn and do your quest. Let's go in the farmhouse. You have your stove, which has more stuff you can make for money. Right now, all I can do is cat cr creamed corn for money. This is all what you can store in your refrigerator. Sadly, the sink and cabinets is just for decoration. 7,500 for that decoration. What's sucks. Turn your milk into butter. Sell your crops here. Pretty simple. Here's all your stuff you can buy again. I'm stuck at 100,000. The second plot took me forever because I needed to buy the stove and the Better churn. Actually, I was waiting on the stove. Here's your seeds. When you unlock corn, all you do plant corn. Nothing but corn. So ignore this. Ignore this guy, Pitchfick. Pitchfork Zeb, ignore him because it's really just for beginners. But for me, I I completely skipped his quest. Uh, sorry, I was wondering if I was recording and then my audio just cut earlier. So okay, I will do you because you are almost a thousand. You do him. The miner gives you really good quests when you can do them. This guy too. Right now I'm at uh, unlock chocolate cake. That was already there. So oh uh, no, you have to get a cow first. Buy your cookbook and kill. Standard basic cookbook. I'm stuck on you. What? Going to. Ooh. I am curious what this does. 12 of these is a little bit over for one of these, basically. So I can either have 12, cover my whole land, minus one row, or what does this do? I don't know. I never bought it. Bye. So. I'm working up for that. Took me forever to get that. Actually, it's taking me days to get this one. Uh, you can fire, uh, hire people, except it's per day. Per day. Which I'm not there yet. You go in here, you buy all your house upgrades. 
I am working on this one right now. 7,500, I forget. That was kind of cheap. Uh, this was like 4,000 something. And then those are your house upgrades. Nothing in the tree. Seven thousand two hundred equals twelve regular tiny sprinklers. And this one irrigator five thousand. Don't know what it does because I never had that much money. What do you do, I wonder? Is it about the... I don't know. Uh, what do I want you? Plant. Can't tell what... Well, what's... Since it's raining, I can't really tell... what it's uh, what it's doing perfect time to plant all your corn when it rains to get more money faster as I wait for the miner to recharge It's kind of a slow paced game to get money. I mean, it's not really, you're not raking it in yet, but I'm not there yet. As I don't, I did not max out my cows. Uh, give me. So the next upgrade on my list is get that silo. And that's what I'm working on now. What do you want? Earlier, I had a person ride my cow for whatever reason, and then she was. Then the person came over here, stood right here, and just kind of freaked me out. I don't know what she was doing. I'm going to go see if the miner has any new upgrades. Quests? <laughs> Not upgrade? Okay, what do you want? 300? Mm, no. I don't think so. No, give me something better. 500 and um, fine since but it still sucks because it's not wait don't tell me this no it is 1000 it's not 10,000 okay so you, to get your your chicken buy your land upgrade twice so it's 1k followed by 10k Followed by 15k, followed by 1k. That's how much money you need to get a chicken. A lot of money. Okay, time to feed my animals. Okay, we are back at 1,500. Okay. Wait, can I ride my dog? <laughs> mm. Can I ride you like a horse? I wonder. Why not? Because I'm bored. No, oh, he's asleep, but...
What? Uh, someone paid for the rain, okay. Boo. Well, that kind of almost worked. Hey, get back here so I can jump on you. No. Okay, I'll go ride my cow. There. Ah. Wait, did it? No, okay. I got it working. Woo! Woo! Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, is it? I'm gonna look up the dance mode. Because I forgot. Roblox dance. Boo! I don't know if I did that. No. Okay, I did not do that. It just knocked me off. Slash E. Okay, so slash E. Okay. Slash E. Dane! I don't know how they keep doing it. You press F. It literally says press F. Like I said, no one uses the brain to figure it out. Correction! I just say, explore. No one explores anymore. They just beg for help. Teach me your ways. How about... Learn on your own? Explore? Technically, that's what video games are. Explore your world. But... Kids these days have it way too busy. They just beg for help, receive it, they don't learn a thing. They just want it. How do you play right now? Rather than run around the map and explore, they just want to know how to play right this second. Sometimes you have to use your brain to figure things out on your own or you will never figure out it out or then they begin to be a troll <laughs> I don't know it just mind boggles me okay what do you want uh 700 okay okay so he won so okay seven ah uh, no, give me a better one. Get, okay, that one's worse. Give me a better one. 500, give me a better one. Oh my god. 500, reroll! Reroll. Well, since that's back up to 700, fine. Here. Okay. I mean, this is... You press F. Talk to everyone. It actually also has a help button, like, right here. So you say, how do I get a farm? How do I make money? Why don't I get seeds from corn? It's also in Spanish, so you literally just go up to these NPCs, and they tell you what to do. Literally. Or just, again, explore. Video games, you explore. You... Some of them don't even have a tutorial. Or, in, uh, in other ways, it's... Level 1 is your starting zone. Very easy. Such as... World Das One in Mario, or wherever you start in Zelda, for instance. Not Breath of the Wild, I'm talking about older Zelda titles. Like Ocarina, Mori, Mori, the Mask, uh, cannot pronounce his freak, <laughs> but that name completely. Uh, Mario Sunshine. 
for instance. Um, uh, Final Fantasy is pretty basic uh, when it comes to how they start out and then you get better gear as you level up. And I don't think they have a tutorial on that one either. You just learn as you go. But kids these days, they just, they beg for help, demand it, and then they go into another game, same thing, how do you play, and they don't really figure anything out, and they just go on in life like that, asking for help, hold my hand, babysit me, I mean... Video games have evolved, they are much easier now, but when you continue to see people beg for help, you're like, okay, how about this time you learn on your, on your own, or you will never learn how to play any other video game, and you will continue begging for help when you join a new game every single time and for all I know I keep running into the same person who asks for help because they don't know how to explore on their own so they go through life following commands from another person because they don't they never learned how to explore on their own that's that's the trend I am seeing they are too uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, I mm, wait what's this one I don't know if I want to use this term. Okay, feeble-minded. I keep seeing that trend. People are more feeble-minded now. They don't think for themselves. They... Okay, is that a freaking glitch? And how... And, okay, this person. I was in a different room earlier. Uh, chat. Server, sorry, no, it's not. And this thing appears, and then I logged out, never saw it, the person again until I don't know if it's the same person, but if it is, that's insane. But yeah, feeble mindedness is the trend now. They don't know how to learn on their own. Uh, take a uh, take Warcraft for instance. I I know this. this people are probably gonna hate me for for saying this, but okay. You have well, I did not personally play vanilla Warcraft. However, I played similar games on the console, which is again hard. So. You go from having, I don't know, 20 different spells when you're starting out. You have like, I don't know, three, three to five spells or something. And now they dump down the game to, well, you only press one button, one button, one button. Like, you, you didn't need to dumb down the game like that learn your rotation but people continue to how do you play I don't know people ask on the forums what class did I play what race should I be it's like personal prof do you have let me refer it and let me start that again slowly do you have a preference what do you like? I can't tell you what race to play based on what I am like. You have to figure it out for you. 
For me, since I never played this game before, I tried all the classes. I've tried all the races. Literally, not kidding, I'm an alcoholic. I found that I main a demon hunter and a feral, actually, guardian druid. I swap between feral and guardian. A demon hunter, same thing, I'm both DPS and tank. However, it took me ages to figure out what class I prefer. Found out cannot stand Shadow Priest. Way too squishy. Mage, not really a caster. Feels very slow. I'd rather... I'm a melee class. Personally, I'd rather be up in your face smacking your butt rather than uh, spell bomb you. Um, however, I did try Warlock. Discovered I was a demonology warlock. Have not tried it since the new update in uh, the current expansion, which is. Um, I keep one. <laughs> BFA. I. Not BFA. No, it is. BFA. Current expansion, have not tried Warlock Demonology since freaking. I think it was back in Warlords, I think. Or back in Legion, but. I didn't go to Endgame, I just. I think I like, stopped at level 70. Probably not really a caster, as I said. However, the new updates are. They sound interesting. Demon Bomb. Uh, summon all these imps. Demon Bomb. Um, pretty much. But. It took me forever. To figure out what class and what race I prefer. You can't just go on the forums and say, hey, what what should I play? What do you recommend? I don't know what your playstyle is, but if you did tell me your playstyle, maybe I could help you. But once again, it's just you have to explore and figure it out on for yourself. Most people do not take the time to do that. They just want it right the second, right now, in the present, rather than taking the time and exploring. That is the trend I am seeing now. Uh, you may see it completely different. I could be completely wrong. But... I guess it's just, well, I played a lot of Zelda in my time, and I played a lot of Final Fantasy in my time, and what did you do in those games? Explore. If you're a gamer, I think the games you play shape you as you grow up. I could be completely wrong, but maybe that's why I explore all games I play, figuring out how to play it without help. I took the I take the time to learn the game, figuring out how to level, what's the best way to get money, etc. Maybe because I played all these exploratory games, is that why I take the time? Maybe. But that's another story. Probably no, I will post that on both both of my channels. I just wished I caught the mic not being recorded sooner rather than 17 minutes in. But I will not delete anything. So if you made it this far, congratulations. And until we meet again.